Hey everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Today I'm doing a very quick comparison review of 706S2 and 603S2 Anniversary Edition speakers. They both retail for $2,000 for a pair of these. They are very much comparable, probably except for the base performance. Overall fit and finish and build quality, they are very good. 603S2 will have a little bit better base response compared to 706S2. When I'm doing the back-to-back uh, -back comparison of these two speakers and you know, using a lot of my favorite music and trying to listen a lot of different kind of music. And what really comes to my mind was how good this 706 S2 is overall skills and dynamics and sound stage. Every bit is comparable yet better stereo image compared to the 603 S2 in my room. And um, musically, they both have a very capable speaker that you can throw any kind of music to them. 603 S2 have a better sensitivity rating, so I have to use the uh, decibel meter to make sure I volume match both of the speakers. Only that's the uh, only downside of 706 S2, less sensitivity rating. They have the house sound signature with very vivid, spacious, and very wide sound stage with clarity and detailed sound reproduction, regardless of which one you choose. But 706S2 have a more impressive sound signature because it has a more refinement, a little bit more clarity in upper mid-range to high frequency transition area. And overall mid-range is a little bit more clearer, vocals are a little bit more realistic compared to this. Probably that's due to the uh, different driver because this is the uh, uh, aluminum uh, carbon coated dome tweeter. This is just the uh, regular double dome aluminum tweeter. So that's where the differences are. And regardless of uh, it having a dedicated mid-range driver, this one is totally shows the uh, class. I mean, Overall scale dynamics, it, every bit is comparable, yet it has a better refinement in vocals and human voices and also mid-range clarity and upper mid-range uh, detail sound reproduction with better highs. Better highs meaning it has a more separation between the notes and more spacious sounding compared to this 603 S2 high frequency reproduction. And the placement is not as finicky as the, uh, some other speakers. You can place them decent location and they will give you really good sound. And some might say the 603 S2 is better buy because better lower frequency response and it doesn't need to put on the stand. So which makes it better buy of course, but the 706 S2 if you are after a bit better refinement, transparency, and detailed sound reproduction with a little bit more better clarity and better highs. 706S2 is better buy for the people who doesn't want to deal with the tower speakers. You know, it's easy to move around. You just, or if you already have a stand, you just put them on and just enjoy your music. And it will totally give you a musical pleasure with any kind of music. So 603S2 is very good, good all around speaker. You can use them anywhere, like home theater, two channel listening, 2.1. You can throw any kind of music. They will give you very good dynamic spacious sound with good instrument separation and overall very musical sound stage and, and very expensive too. The sound stage is. And 706S2 is about the same except for the lower bass response. But yet, I still like 706S2 more than the 603S2 personally due to that uh, more refinement in mid range to upper mid range and better clarity between the notes in that region. And overall, comparable sound stage and dynamics with very good instrument separation and easier to place, easier to handle. 
If you really like Bowers & Wilkins uh, South Signature, these are both great buys. You just need to choose them based on your need. And if you have a smaller space, 7 or 6 S2 is better buy. If you have a better setup, let's say if you have a really good amplification, go with 7 or 6 S2. 603 S2 is a little bit more forgiving to pairing components compared to 706 S2 because they can sound really good with the uh, regular AV receiver. 706 S2, it will totally show the uh, pairing component. So that's where the difference is. Overall refinement, I still like 706 S2 after all these speakers and after even this 603 S2. If I don't have any speakers, I can live with 603 S2 as well because this is a very good sounding, very impressive sounding speaker for $2,000 for a pair of these towers. And my next advice is if you haven't listened to newer generations of these speakers, you should give it a try because the mid range to upper mid range sound reproduction is probably one of the best that you can have in any price point and also have a really good instrument separation with very nice warmish sound signature in that region with very good and very nice bass attack with and of course some people don't, doesn't like the high frequency extension but that's not a big deal for me that's an easy fix i mean you can play around with tone control or you can play around with dsp or you can even play around with equalizer otherwise Base to mid range to upper mid range, they are really hard to beat. Very good, great sounding speakers. They both highly recommend it. Thank you for watching and happy listening.